Hello and welcome to another of my useless experiments. We have here a ring of uh, NeoPixels, or Chinese NeoPixels, an Arduino that's connected to an NRF24L01 uh, or 01 Plus uh, transmitter receiver, a battery pack over there, and a BBC Microbit board, which is powered by batteries. Um, now, if you'll notice, when I take the board and I tilt it, the colors on the NeoPixel ring change to match the, the tilt of the board. And of course, they're not connected by any wire, it's wireless transmission. transmission. Now, as you maybe uh, are, are aware, the BBC Microbit has uh, the chip on here by Nordic, it's the NRF51822, I think. It has Bluetooth capabilities, but when you use this board with the MicroPython programming language, it is unable to use these uh, Bluetooth capabilities because there's not enough uh, memory on chip. Instead, it has this uh, a software module called Radio, which allows you to send information from one board to another using some uh, unknown uh, protocol, unknown to me anyway. And I was wondering whether the, the chip here on this uh, trans transmitter receiver, which is also by Nordic, could pick up this, the transmissions from here. Uh, now, as far as I could see, it, it couldn't. I wrote a little program to, to send um, bytes from here to the air over different uh, channels and, and uh, baud rates, but I couldn't uh, pick it up on the Arduino. However, there was this little demo program for the Arduino and this uh, receiver that essentially uh, was looking for, um, for carrier signal on different channels. The, the presence of a, any kind of transmission on these channels, any activity. And uh, that, that program was able to detect whenever the, uh, the microbit was sending something. Now, again, it couldn't tell me what, the, what information was sent, but it could tell me that something was sent. And this was enough for me to build a sort of uh, on-off keying uh, scheme, where the, uh, the microbit, you can see here it's blinking. Every time it blinks, it sends a byte. So it reads the information from the accelerometer, translates it to a single byte, and and uh, transmits it in a little scheme of um, you know uh, a short duration of, of noise for a zero or a long duration for a one, and uh, that kind of uh, play with uh, timing and bits. And it's enough for me to do this. Now it's not very useful, of course. The the rate, the information uh, is sent at a very low rate. The um, transmission is not very reliable. It's only uh, one way from the board to the Arduino. The range is, I think, it's about one meter in the under these uh, settings, perhaps even less. But still, it works, and it shows you that if you try hard enough, everything is possible. So uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.